Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We are five days a week. We are seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a, a great day, safe day, and make it a great night, folks. Let me open this up just a little right there. Come on, baby. There we go. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Be impeccable with your word. Release the need to be right. When you believe something, you assume you're right. It may even destroy relationships in order to defend your position. Let go of the need to defend your position. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 700, NASDAQ's off 327, S&P's off 94. Gold, gold contract down $29.80, trading at $17.88 an ounce. We have silver down 78 cents, $23.35 an ounce. Light sweet crude down a buck 18. $76.10 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year note up six ticks, trading 114, 24, the 30 year up 29 at 132.04 and King Dollar. King Dollar's up by 741 ticks, trading out at 104.509. Euro is at 106. Yen is out here at 137 and the British pound is at 121 to one US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you got a break with volume. You got an expansion of volume. And we're coming into option expiration tomorrow. So this is going to be really a trip, no doubt. Because what you have here is that you broke the consolidation. If we take a look at this, what you're going to see is that you broke the consolidation. You broke it with volume. This is on the SPY. We're already at 76 million. You needed anything over 74 million. So... Your gap is laying out here at that uh, 181.14. It's only nine points down from where we are, and we're down 8.6. That being said, however, like when you look at this consolidation, it's a, it's a close call on this one because you can say that the you know you had a couple spikes, but you know if you take it for what it's worth, the top of this consolidation out here was 410. The bottom of it was 390. That's 30 points, man. You take 30 points off uh, 390, you're at 360, and if that's where we are. This is kind of cool how it's setting up. I mean, you're at the highs of the low bar of October. Um, you're actually in it by seven points. So that's actually pretty dangerous because if you get in that bar by seven points, we'll go to the bottom of that bar and we'll see what ends up happening. Meaning, And now what we do have, so watch what we have. This is going to get really... We got to trade his market in an extraordinary way because I want to show you something here, folks. Watch this. And I talked about this a few weeks ago when we, we saw what this had done. So we have a larger ABC structure down in the long term, right? But if you take the aspect of where we were in August at that high and of 431, then you get to the low that was generated at 390, uh, 365. The bottom line, we did more than a 1.618 retracement, more than a 0.618 retracement. When you do that, folks, right, the next time down, your probability of taking that low out is very small. So what's really cool about this, okay, most times what happens is this. You go down there, you get into it, then you're going to get another bounce, and the longer ABC structure down is still in place, and what would end up happening is you probably get a smaller ABC structure inside the much larger ABC structure. We take a look at the NDX 100, the three Qs, same type of setup inside the three Qs. You broke the consolidation. You're going to have volume on the break. You already have volume on the break. So we take a look at this. What you're going to see is that, to the top of this too. Okay, so we needed, you know, Volume of 41 million, 55 million, you're at 46. We're going to get 60, 65 million. Right now, you're at 46. You take this one, now we got, we got the gap that is there at the 268. The highs of the lows is 270. So we're going into these, man. They're going to come down because no matter which way I do this, well, no, it could stop at the gap. But even if it stops at the gap, 268, you can see what's happening is that. Well, it wouldn't be bad, actually. It's only be, be, that'd be two points into it. That'd be two points into it. So my take is that that's where we're going, down into those levels. And what it's going to be all about, folks, is that, you know, the dollar basically wants higher price. Uh, you're going to get the dollar, you know, basically 
got a bid today. We'll see if we can get follow, follow through, but I expect we're going to, because if you take a look at the dollar, what you're going to see inside the dollar is that, you know, it came down to the bottom of a six-month range and rejected lower price. Now what you want, now what the, the market wants is the dollar wants to go up, the market wants to go down. And, and at the end of the year, this could get real dangerous because you get a, you get a lot of different things, a lot of different decisions are going to be made out here. Gold, gold contract out here, we have the gold contract. Um, it's trading lower and trading lower with volume. Right now we got 175,000 contracts traded. You know, that's, that's an expansion of volume. Of, uh, I think we were hitting, let's see what we were hitting yesterday when this thing was trying to hang up. Yeah, so you know, two days ago, yeah, the, we had the volume, 213. Uh, last time, and that, that wasn't enough, by the way, because we were dealing with, uh, well, the roll, you need the rollover on this thing. I've actually, uh, watch if I put the GLD, you'll actually see a little bit better inside the GLD. If we take a look at the GLD, yeah, see this expansion of volume, man? We are, so when we popped higher on uh, Tuesday, you had 6.7 million, you're already 7.2 million. The bottom of this range here brings you down to 161 in the GLD, and I suspect that's where it's going to go. And, you know, we'll see where the rest of this shakes out. If we take a look at some of the higher volume equities, um, you know, let's just go to Tesla, because Tes Tesla is the number, uh, you know, <laughs> we were talking about it yesterday, and the bottom line is that as we were talking about it, Elon Musk was selling, folks. <laughs> and, um, you know, bottom line, he needs money, man. That's the bottom line. And, you know, he's probably, I suspect what he's doing is this. So picture part of the trench that when he bought the place, okay, you can see that right there. That was yesterday, 21,995,000 shares. That's what he moved out yesterday. Um, so part, part of the, the Twitter deal, folks, right, is that he has, we talked about the aspect, he's paying more on interest than Twitter has ever taken in, just gross-wise. There's, there's part of a trench right now that, uh, it's 350, no, 3.5 billion. And he just sold 4 billion. And that 3.5 billion, he's paying an interest rate of uh, almost 12%. But it gets better than that. Because what has happened is that that bond has got smoked, even though it's brand new. So he could buy those back less than pop. And what that means, of course, is that they let you so much money, 100 cents in the dollar, but guess what? You're going to buy it back less than 100 cents in the dollar, and he'll save $350 million just on that part of it. So that's what he's probably Currency doing.